sad man youtube it's your boy big c y'all coming by to y'all with another video i know i've been missing in action but you know your boy's still out here running um today i'm gonna be doing i'm gonna show y'all how i dropped my fuel a day in the life probably i don't know maybe gonna be a day in the life a day in the life as a fuel hauler so right now I'm gonna drop my coons first. First thing first, that's what we do. Drop the coons. It's the only way, um, it's like the only entrance that somebody could probably try to squeeze through, so I try to block that off. This is everything right here, this is gonna just be for me right here. And then I got a little opener right here for the tanks. I don't know if y'all can see the arrow on the tanks right there. That's telling you where to open it up, lift it up. And this right here, this helps you where you don't have to bend down and you know hurt your back and stuff like that. It's my premium. I open that up. It's my regular tank right here. Open that up. This the vapor. This the premium. I mean it's the regular. I always try to keep the cover right next to it. That way, you know you know what, what you know what fuel you drop in, and I try to drop my my premium first. If I got premium, regular, and diesel, I try to drop my diesel first. That way, I um, I wash the hose out, and then um, this is we go. You pull the stick out. You pull the stick out, and this is what you want to do. You want to get some paste. I want to put some paste on it right quick. This here, this is really important right here, y'all, because some of these stations be having water in the tank so this way you know if it's safe for you to drop the fuel or not i don't know how i won't be able to see how this video come out because it's like you know it's morning the sun haven't come up yet but um i'm gonna cut my lights on right quick you know so i can see when i drop in the fuel so all I do is I just rub my finger across it like this. Boom. Boom. Catch the sides of it right there. Put that right there. All right, open this up. I'll see what's going on. We're running at 12.03 right now. So just open this up. Wipe this off. And now we just go to stick it now. Yeah, so we go to stick right quick. Get the inches on a premium. Let me see. 52, 52 inches. That's how much fuel is in the tank. You see the, do you see the bottom of the stick, right? It's still orange. So that means there's no water in the tank. So I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna put it in the computer. 52. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go over to the to the regular. Stick the regular right quick. The regular. Sometimes you won't be able to see it depending on these sticks. Just drop it again. Okay, the regular is about 50, 51 inches. Put that right there. And I didn't say it in the beginning of the video, but you always wanna make sure that you verify your address to make sure that you are at the right station. That way you don't drop fuel at the wrong location. I already verified my address because um, I didn't show y'all, but I already verified my address. Y'all won't be able to see this. It's, you know, I can't let y'all see where I'm dropping, but you know, I already make sure that I'm dropping at the right station. I went inside, I got the Vita route. You know, the Vita route is the printout that lets you know how, many, how much fuel is inside of the tank. That way you don't, uh, you know you don't overfill the tank these are my valves right here i'm opening i'm opening the tanks right now so we're gonna start off with the premium okay y'all let me know in the comments if y'all have any questions about what i do i know this is a dangerous job but hey this is what i like to do it's super easy it's chill no heavy lifting no heavy bending it's, you know it's really an easy job so first thing first we drop um we drop our vapor first put the vapor down 
You always want to put the vapor down. The vapor is like, that's, that's, that's safety reasons right there. You, you don't want to be dropping fuel with no vapor. Cause a lot of crazy things can happen. my vapor just open that up right there grab this put this right here then you drop and get our hose right quick so this stop right here i'm off to use i'm gonna change this vapor and i'm gonna use a longer vapor to reach over to that one and i'm also gonna use a longer hose too so for right now i'm just gonna use my short hose you always want to make sure that these hoses like the seal is inside of them because some of them the seal will drop out so so this hose it ain't too much hose on the ground i try to you know some of these hoses be i don't like to have too much hose on the ground that way you you know, the, the fuel will take longer to drop. So, just push that out the way. Put this down. Vapor. Put that um, hose down. Grab this. Uh, premium. It's my 14. My 1450 compartment. Remember, red top by the tank. I mean, it's premium. Premium right here. Another way to verify is to look at your paperwork. Make sure that that's where you have in that compartment. Compartment two, I have premium. 1450 gallon. 1450 gallon. So now, this is what we're gonna do. Make sure everything is locked down, you know, safe and ready, and we can drop premium. Now it's going down. So y'all, right now, this first compartment just got done. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna hold along this hose and hold it up and make sure I drain the hose out. And then, remember, I got 3,000 gallons of regular, so I'm gonna go ahead. Clump that on there. Make sure that's locked in. Premium, premium. You always want to verify that way you don't have any mistakes or you don't cross drop or you know, cause man, people be cross dropping out here. You don't want to cross drop. You don't want to miss and drop diesel inside premium or, you know? So make sure that you verify what you're doing because it's so easy to make a mistake. So now that this is dropping right now, you know, this one is empty, so I come right here on my, on this right here, and I just, um, I just change it to empty. So that let me know that this is empty. So I leave my cover open, you know, so I know that I already, I already um, used this compartment, and it also says that it's empty too. Next, after all of this, um, I'm gonna go ahead and after the premium, I'm gonna start the regular. I'm gonna drop the regular over there. And at the end, um, you, could, you could either bucket drain, you could either use the bucket and bucket drain each compartment, or what you could do is just leave the hose on a little longer. That way you don't have to take in the fumes, you know? Just leave the hose on a little longer, let the, let the, uh, the rest of the fuel just drain out and you'll be okay, you know? So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. Y'all make sure y'all ask some questions. Y'all let me know, you know? I'm gonna try to give y'all some videos on the regular, you know, cause I know I haven't been, I haven't been on YouTube like I should, but hey, y'all stay tuned. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all let me know what else y'all would wanna know. Um, if I don't want to answer it in the comment section, I'm going to answer it in a new video. So, peace out.
right now my regular is done i'm gonna remove the vapor and put it in the truck just like this i already um strained my hose because sometimes guys this hose be having fuel in it from the vapor or if it if it don't have fuel it'll have some water so i'm gonna put this right here because i'm gonna put the hose on first yeah sometimes the vapor hose be having water so you want to be careful and make sure you drain that out first and then i already closed my valve off now i'm gonna do i'm gonna walk the hose out walk the fuel out this fuel is still in the hose it's a lot of fuel because it's a big it's a long hose so just walk it out walk it out at least twice that's what i try to do and you can feel it you can feel the fuel going down then i just go ahead loose it up And then I walk it out like this. Because more fuel is still on the inside. You see? See all that fuel coming out still? And now we got to go. See the seal I was telling y'all about? It came out of the... It came out of here. So now I'm going to just put this back in. And this stops the... This stops the leaks and stuff when you drop in the fuel. <clears throat> Grab that fitting. And then the first thing you want to do is want to go ahead and get that stick in right quick. Stick that tank right quick. That way you don't forget. You don't forget to stick the tank. So the inches on this is 94. So that's good. That tank is on full. Then you just put it right back. Move this out the way. You just put it right back. And then you put your, you put your inches in. 94, 94. And pretty much I'm done. So now, what I'm gonna do is, now I'm gonna put all my hoses back on the truck, and then I'm gonna close up this tank. So. And then put this one on. my tank that's to close up my tanks and stuff lock it down this is my extension hose right here this little short hose it's an extension piece right here just in case um you know okay all that's good so now this is what i do right this is what you do i want you all to do this okay y'all ever become a fuel hauler or y'all doing fuel this i can close up the vapor cap now and then i go ahead and i get my bucket even though i left my hose on for a little while i'm gonna show y'all something sometimes fuel still be inside the inside the tank so i'm gonna drain it off i try to turn my head just so i don't have to take in the vapors but there ain't really that much fuel in there so pretty good but sometimes the compartment still be having like it don't be a lot of fuel but it have it have a good much and then when I get to the to the port 
I also hook up the machine and I pump off whatever remaining fuel is on the truck too. See? Y'all can see. Look. See how much fuel it is? It ain't that much. It, ain't, it really ain't that much fuel. So then I go ahead and I just pour it right down in there like that. And that's it. I then bucket drain my tank. I made sure the truck is empty. And then let me show you another another trick on what you do. You wanna go ahead, come to this tanker, right? Come to the tanker, hit it. Boom. Or you can hit in the, you can hit right here. echo that means it's empty so now I'm gonna go ahead and close out my valves push it in close lock that's all good now just close up these caps right quick Now you just close this up, close, your, close the brake down, I turn this to empty, boom, everything to empty, everything lock up, um, now I just, uh, I have to close off my, close out the tank. So, just close that up like that, and you see, I hope y'all see how helpful this little tool is, I don't, I don't really have to bend down and, you know, hurt my back or nothing. So, that's all good. Now this, I just put this right back on the truck because it got weight, so it's not gonna come off. What I do, I just lock my cone. Oh no, I gotta put my, still got two cones right here. Boom, boom. I put it right back in there. And I scrap this down. Like, like that and we all good everything's locked and loaded truck is empty uh fuel already dropped y'all make sure y'all like comment and subscribe see y'all in the next video and let's go